Hi, I'm Carmen Shamas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about Thursday, the 13th of uh, April. Today the moon is in Capricorn till 8.45 p.m. Universal Time. If you're watching me from the Americas, the moon will stay in Capricorn till almost midday, depending where you're living, uh, from where you're watching me on the continent. Uh, after that, the moon moves to uh, Aquarius. So how's it going to be for all signs? Let's break it down, starting with Aries as soon as the moon moves to Aquarius, uh, your mood will change, your mood will improve and you'll feel totally better. But this means that you also need to be extra careful and very professional and very serious about, very responsible about your uh, tasks or chores uh, all day long. You can be very lucky if you were born between the 12th and the 14th of April. Let's move now to Taurus. Try to wake up early, try to catch the beautiful vibes of the moon in Capricorn. That's your best bet when the moon moves to Aquarius. Things will slow down, things will get complicated and exaggerated and you don't have the energy for that. You don't feel like getting into that. So be extra careful, especially if you were born on the 7th, 8th of May. Moving to Gemini, you should wait for the moon to reach uh, Aquarius if you have a very important stuff to do because the vibes, um, the quality of vibes, quality of time is superior and is going to be totally, totally uh, to your favor. Uh, before that, it's fine. It's okay. It's a lot of work, but it's fine. There's nothing wrong with the moon in Capricorn. So it depends how uh, urgent anything is. Otherwise, wait for the moon to reach uh, Aquarius. Uh, everybody can be lucky today, especially if you were born on the 21st, 22nd of May. Let's move now to Cancer. Cancer, it was really tough, probably tough on um, uh, Wednesday. Um, on Wednesday. So today, Thursday, things may be a little bit uh, uh, just as just as tough, uh, maybe tougher, maybe easier because because you got used to it. But actually, it's one of those. Um, I don't want to say unlucky, but it's one of those uh, uh, unfavorable days. So don't get um, confused. Uh, don't be pushed by others. Try not to flow with the energy, negative energy of others. Mind your own business. Today is not an easy day. Be extra careful, especially if you were born between the 1st and the 4th of July. Let's move now to um, Leo. The moon uh, reaches uh, an opposition to your sign, meaning that uh, during the evening, probably you may feel a little bit tired, annoyed, um, your patience runs very low and very thin. So maybe you feel a little bit uh, exhausted uh, with your family. You don't feel like uh, talking. You feel bored. You feel anxious. You feel angry or moody. So you really need to handle this kind of mood. Uh, during the day, everything is fine. But in all cases, it's not an extreme day. But mind your mood, let us say. Uh, especially if you were born on the 23rd, 24th of uh, July. Let's move now to Virgo. Virgo, I like the effects of the moon in Capricorn. They're very healthy. They're very beautiful. They're very energizing and very lucky. This is the most important thing. At... Um, let me see, at 8.45 p.m. Universal Time, the moon leaves this uh, heaven for you and goes to Aquarius. So you should expect uh, quite a busy afternoon or busy evening. So, and the Thursday, the moon in Capricorn uh, sends you good vibes and they're um, better than the vibes of Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays and Mondays. Okay, so plan accordingly, uh, especially if you were born on the 26th, 27th, 28th of um, August. Let's move now to Libra. Libra, this is um, a tough day in the morning. Uh, things will change in late evening. Um, well, that's a universal time. Uh, that's 8.45 p.m. universal time. After that, things get very easy and uh, very helpful. Let's say easier and more helpful. 
But during the uh, the during the uh, moon in Capricorn, things may actually be quite confusing and quite um, complicated and quite uh, annoying. So be extra careful. Moving to Scorpio, it's a fine day. Try to catch the moon in Capricorn if you want your stuff to be done um, precisely. If your work wants, if you want your work to be done um, fast and uh, smoothly and easily without problems. When the moon moves to Aquarius, things may get a little bit troublesome, uh, especially when it comes to a personal issue. Someone may say something, someone may insult, or someone may uh, uh, hurt your feelings. It can be anything. Or it can be just your kid at home, or it can be a neighbor or something uh, that no one uh, actually meant to say, so with something that people did not uh, actually mean to say, but in all cases, it's all it's all in your mind. So be careful. Let's move now to Aquarius. I love the moon in, uh, um, in Capricorn. I also love, I even love more the moon in Aquarius. Uh, of course, I am totally with the sun and Jupiter in, uh, uh, in Aries. So this is one of those beautiful days. It seems that your sign is shining today. And lately it has been shining actually since Monday. So I think this is another successful day, another beautiful, brilliant Sagittarius. So go ahead and bask in the beautiful, uh, lucky vibes, but don't let these vibes or this day pass without a successful story or a success story. So it's, uh, it's your cue. Let's move now to Capricorn. I like this day, Capricorn. The moon in your sign gives you so much. It's it's a long rope, meaning that you can do anything you want. Uh, you have a green light to move forward. You can change things upside down. You can decide on things. There are things that will change uh, accordingly. Uh, if you don't do anything, some things will change just out of their own mind. So it's best if you do something about it and um, and do something about it. Like if you have a problem with a colleague, if you have problem with parents, if you have problem with your kids, this is time to take the lead and do something about it. Remember that a small thing, a small gesture will do it, will do. Okay, so go ahead and be uh, I will not say daring, but be wise, okay? Be smart. Let's move now to Aquarius. It's going to be totally um, cool, let's say, or maybe boring, depending how your mood is, how you woke up today. Uh, so it can be anything while the moon is in Capricorn. If I want to describe this day, I would say that while the moon is in Capricorn, it's going to be a slow day. It's a day that you will feel bored. You will need a cup of coffee, you need something to wake you up uh, because you may feel uh, kind of uh, drifting, uninterested or totally depleted uh, of your energy. You have to double check on your work, especially if you have important stuff to do. Uh, so uh, mind your language, your energy is totally scattered. Uh, you need to be wide awake. Otherwise, problems, mistakes would happen and you would not even be aware of them and this would be a big problem but when the moon reaches your sign at 8 45 pm universal time everything changes to your favor and you will become the toughest the most brilliant competitive uh competitive competitor how about that everything will change let's move now to pisces pisces this is going to be a a nice day but it's a double-sided sword meaning that while the moon is in capricorn that's your best bet when the moon moves to aquarius that's the time where you should actually settle down sit down drop your luggage and sit and wait for the time to uh, uh to wait for the moon to reach your sign that would be around after midnight Beirut time on saturday sunday so in the meantime you really need to choose the right time for you uh, for a project for something active for anything active any project uh, this means that you have to go for the moon in Capricorn. If there is nothing to do, like you just want to sit and relax, read a book, watch a movie, uh, don't waste the energy of the moon in Capricorn. You should choose. Uh, better you should go and wait for the moon to reach Cap uh, Aquarius, excuse me, because that's when the energy is quite calming, soothing, and um, not energetic. It's quite passive, okay? 
but be extra careful if you were born on the 22nd 23rd of february let's move now to born on the 13th of uh, april this should be a brilliant year another brilliant year maybe this is going to be better than past year uh the last year so this year is kind of different if you uh, remember what happened like almost 12 years ago that's when jupiter was in your sign something big changed in your life something important really uh, maybe it was plus or minus a few months you know so something big is happening during this uh, year that uh, starts with your birthday make sure that you make the right decisions wishing you all the best see you tomorrow enjoy bye bye